It'd be good if the controller wasn't on the other side of the room. Okay. I, oh, oops. I got it. Hey everyone, this is Full Pixel Inferno 91 returning with a let's play after about 3 million years. Literally. And we're gonna play Spire Year of the Dragon, of course. You probably no one remembers, but I remember I tried to let's play this but I had massive technical difficulties. So we're gonna start again. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it right. Oh, I picked the wrong memory card. I have a blank memory card here that I was gonna start the new game on. Oh, I want to start a new game over this? Yeah? Okay, we can overwrite shit. Okay, we'll stick with Spark. Okay, that's okay. We're starting a new game. Of Spyro Year of the Dragon. One of my favourite games. One of the games I've played an awful lot. And here's the opening cutscene. With lots of sleepy dragons. With sleep apnea. Ooh. Well, that's your own fault that she got that last one. I'm sorry, but it is. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Cost our protagonist there. And that that's not the protagonist. That's a fairy. Where are the eggs? The hold came out on the other side of the dragon world. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Dun, dun, dun. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go. Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Here we are, we're in the home world for the first world. Of course, in if you're familiar with Spyro the Dragon, which most people will be, then we have a lot of gems to collect. I think the entirety of the game is about 20,000 gems. Around about that number. Um, but it's fairly simple in this home world. It's fairly simple to find in any world, to be honest. But later on, we do get a power up for Sparks, our little dragonfly right there, that will make her able to point at any gems that are in the world, the closest ones. And it's really good once you have that, like, that one last gem that you can't really get hold of. So if we do miss out some gems when we're in the world and we leave without them, then it doesn't matter because we can always go back and get them later. Of okay, so course, we have our first egg. This is the object of this game, is to rescue the dragon eggs. And we have Isabel. These are adorable. No, oh, it's cutie. Bye bye. Of course, we want to adopt them all. Got to catch them all. And then we are going to save the world with dragon power. Now that's our first world up there. Oh, we've got some more gems over here. It's very satisfying collecting these gems. You'll see why in a minute. I don't I'm not gonna show the loading screens, but I'm gonna show one to show you how awesome it is when you get all the um gems. Hi, Spyro. <laughs> to look left or right? Oh, we know about this. Camera control tutorial. I skipped that out because I don't care. Ooh, rainbow. 
So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Your asshole. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. What, like over there? Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Oh, she's so gonna hold out on into you. Yeah, yeah, go on then, bitch. But we're gonna ignore, we're gonna ignore our first level for the time being, Sunny Villas, and we're gonna go around collecting all the gems. Like we do in Spyro. Because we have the white, the white basket things. That they only, they can be broken by fire or headbutton. But the blue vases can only be uh, destroyed by headbutton. They can't be destroyed by fire. Which is a bit of useful information right there. Because we go up the stairs, there's another level up here, but uh, this is a level which you need a certain number of dragon eggs to unlock it. Kind of like you need so many stars in Super Mario 64 to open the next door. Very similar. What are you talking about? Stop talking about the bloody camera, you're obsessed woman. Fine, I don't know. I wasn't listening. Cool. I don't sense the difference in the camera. Of course, our, spa our sparks here, our dragonfly, our gold companion, is our health meter. And when we get hit, she changes colour, or he, whatever, and she'll change to blue, green, and then disappear. And then when you get hit when she's not there, you die. And to make her better, we kill one of the tiny animals. The tiny animal then proceeds to turn into a butterfly, obviously, and then she eats it and all is well. Get out of my way. And the animals are different in every world. And here is she. It's always the little tiny animal. So just keep your eye open. And here we have another egg. Hello, Liam. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry. Pop that one. Right. Let's let's have another tutorial. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down the square button. That was a swimming tutorial. Woohoo! Here we go. Swim in. Yeah, I'm swimming, and I have unlimited breath under here for some reason. Even though I can't, I can't breathe fire. I just breathe bubbles down here, like like Spyro into the dragonfly. Oh yeah, I have that. And here's our third egg, I do believe. Oh, we'll never find them here, Bianca. Bruce Wayne. I'm, I've got a Batman on the brain. <laughs> I went to see Dark Knight the day it came out. Oh my god, it was brilliant. I want to go see it again. And we got all the gems from under here? I believe so. We'll go this way first. This is an interesting room here. This is a balloon, and when she, once you've gone through all the levels in the game, uh, the balloon will lower and you can go to the next world. There's four home worlds in this game, each with about, I don't know, eight levels? Four, five, six, seven, eight? I'm not sure. And then we go off to another world, and, and it's fun. So here is where we upgrade Sparks' abilities. Spyro, I've got a special task for Sparks. Meet me back here later, Zoe. That happens once we've beaten the first box. Now this is another one of those doors that needs a certain number of eggs to get through, and that one's 14. Up here, I think, is another one as well. But this is the up here is not a conventional level. Most of the levels is go from one end to the other and get as many of the eggs and the, the things as you can, the, the jewels. But here is a flying level and you have to complete certain objectives and fly and like destroy things and race things and find secret things. So there's 20 eggs to get into there. Oh, I don't like the camera. I might change it back. I don't know what she did to me. Crazy camera lady. Now we'll go... Oh, I missed the gem. Good job I was up there on perch and noticed it. Right, we're gonna go get another egg now. We'll attempt. I've got a bit of a cold this morning, so do excuse me if I sound a bit stuffy and I'm a bit snivelly. But I, I am a bit snivelly this morning. 
But here is a level that we unlock by buying it, essentially. But we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to get all the gems first. We're going to get all the eggs, and then we're going to move on. Hey, Hunter. Yo, Spyro. I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world. But you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump. Then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Follow me. Well, not quite yet. We're going to go over here first. Get these gems. Oh, I'm master of these controls. I am Spyro Queen. She says it, and then it's very good. Are you gonna talk to me again? Yeah, I know what you're gonna say. Glide, Spyro. You can do it. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. This one is a bit trickier. This is one I couldn't really do when I was younger. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Well, why aren't you bloody giving me in the first place? We're here to try and rescue these. You could have just given me it. I've hidden them in places you'll never find, Spyro. Like in your friend's pocket. Ridiculous! Right, down here we have some more gems. We're going to go get them first. This is a super fly power-up, Spyro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Okay, but we're not going to do it quite yet. We're going to get the gems! Because what we want to do with the flying thing is fly up and out. If we fly up and out, we get to an egg and then we're out, so we don't come back in. So we'll get, we'll get the gems now. I've got a really itchy face, sorry. I thought I'd inform you why I just halted Spyro in the tracks. Oh no, the fire! And I'm still, I'm still completely baffled by this game why a fire-breathing dragon, dragon, can, can stand being in the water for infinite amounts of time. I find it bizarre. Quite bizarre. Now I'm not sure where the rest of the gems are, so that is a bit shit. So let's fly, Spyro. Let's try and do this in one go. I'm not I'm not promising nothing. Come on, Spyro! Yes! I did it! I did it! Hello Amy! Spelt with an I. Can do backflips and shit. You can be on our Olympic team then. Sim Olympic. I'm not sure how many let's see how many uh gems are meant to be in this world. 400. We're missing one. Where is it? Right, I'll well, I'll see you in a minute when I found the last gem. Oh, here it is. Right, okay. There we go. That's this world complete. So, I think actually we should free Sheila first. Sheila over here being the kangaroo, because then we can get more done in the other worlds. You'll see why later. Spyro. Oh shit! My my, how funny to see you. I think here. I kicked it. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> Is that a lie? Well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. All right. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. You are a greedy, greedy bastard. Nearly all my fucking gems. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. You know, this, these are just lying on the floor. You could have just picked them up yourself. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? 
They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Right, next time on Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon, or Spyro 3, we will enter Sheila's Alp. So I'll see you then, guys. Bye-bye.